check in. This is not what she asked for. And then the rest of the 34 pages is just the, be- I used to call it the best of, it's the worst of Donald Trump's prior filings that have all lost in front of Judge Chutkin on the same issues and the same defenses. She's done this already. And the fact that they just want to do it all over again, this time with Todd Blanche and Emil Bove taking the lead, as opposed to their prior counsel, is not going to change the outcome. That's the definition of insanity. You know, doing the exact same thing and expecting a different outcome. It's also the definition of sanctionable conduct by continuing to file it in court and have the court have to tell you this is this thing that you asked me to file late is not the thing you were supposed to file. I've denied almost all of it in the past and it's denied again. And the immunity issue is going to be briefed. And no, you I there's two remarkable things here. They asked again to have the case and the uh, briefing around the immunity changed and immediately go back to what they've already argued. So it's a motion for reconsideration, which is which is improper at this point in the way, the way they've done it, and that'll be rejected. But here's the point, Ben. I don't know if you caught this in the briefing. In the briefing, even you and I, as extraordinary and unprecedented and unhinged as we believe the Trump versus U.S. immunity decision is by the MAGA right wing of the court, 6-3, on July the 1st, and as much immunity and insulation from criminal prosecution that we believe it gave to Donald Trump particularly and on purpose, starting with what is absolute immunity, the core presidential functions in the Constitution, what is what is immunity by presumption that could be overcome um, if it's within the uh, scope of the uh, job or the official duties of the pre- of the um, of the president uh, at the time. And then lastly, what is private, not immune conduct? We thought, wow, that really just effectively, if we map that onto the immunity indictment, we're going to have to watch uh, uh, Jack Smith pull this out rabbit out of a hat. He ended up getting a new indictment out, out of the, uh, you know, out uh, the superseding indictment, which I think fixes a lot of the problems there. But that wasn't good enough for Donald Trump. Donald Trump says in his motion that the only way that the presidency, therefore Donald Trump, can be protected and the and the ruling by the Supreme Court can be implemented is if if he's given absolute immunity. Not that can't be rebutted by anything that the prosecution can do, even though that's not what the Supreme Court said. So now he's asking for the judge to give him broader immunity than the broadest immunity that the Supreme Court already gave him. See, they can't, uh, Karen in our show always says he's a pig. He, he gets rulings in his favor that are, are shocking, that shock the conscience. And yet he asks for more, which always makes the lawyers look incredibly not credible um, as advocates and easily something that the judge can reject and dispatch, which she is going to do. There's going to be another brief, of course, by the government and opposition and a reply. But I'm telling you, I'm telling our audience, Judge Chutkin's going to be pissed off when she gets this particular motion. And then you've got all the other motions that are set in uh, in October uh, and in later September about the immunity decision with the airing of new evidence you and I haven't even heard of, maybe some stuff from the Jan 6 committee and the reporting there that that won't shock us, but some stuff I'm sure we've never seen before that are now going to be put front and center before the American people, you know, all in in D.C. Before we move on to the other places, Ben, let's bounce around on on D.C. a bit. Well, look, there's a term, Occam's razor, sometimes the simplest explanation is actually the answer. And for Donald Trump, he doesn't want to exist within our legal system, right? He wants to break it. So when you look at his moves, the moves are quite literally to break and destroy the actual underpinnings of the system. I've also said before, if you give Donald Trump an inch, he'll go and take your life. There's a legal fallacy sometimes that it's often is not a fallacy, but sometimes is referred to as a fallacy. Um, The parade of horribles, the slippery slope argument. If you do this, then all of these horrible things are going to happen. It's going to like the tumbleweed picking up speed. It's all going to grow and then metastasize. And then sometimes the argument is you're just trying to paint a parade of horribles because you want or don't want us to rule a certain way right now. But with Donald Trump, it truly is the parade of horribles. He's telling us what he wants. The slippery slope is very slippery, and we see where it's going. 
And during the absolute immunity hearing, the justices who were appointed by Democratic administrations, Justice Kaplan, Justice Sotomayor, Katanji Brown Jackson, sorry, Kagan, I said Kaplan, Justice Kagan, they were showing by asking the questions of Trump's lawyers, okay, let's explore the parade of horribles. So you believe that if we rule that you have absolute immunity, that Donald Trump should be able to order the military to kill a political opponent, and then that would be subject to immunity. Is that what you're arguing? And then Donald Trump's lawyer, who's got that, it's a rough voice to listen to, and he speaks really fast, and the justices would slow him down and John say, Sauer. Yeah. John Sauer, and say, yeah. hey, so just, just pause. You think that's okay? And then they would get him to say, yeah, that would be an official act. Trump would be able to do that. And so that's what Trump views this as. So of course, Trump, and when you listen to Alina Habba speak out there, they believe that this Supreme Court ruling gives them carte blanche to be a dictator on day one. And that's why Donald Trump's saying <laughs> that he wants to be a dictator on day one. Those are actually words that come out of the mouth of a leader of a political party. And they can gaslight you and, and, and when they try to defend him. Oh, he was joking about being a dictator. Or he didn't say he'd be a dictator on day one. He'd say, he said he'd be a dictator for just one day. Well, let me be clear. Dictators don't stay dictators just for one day. Mussolini, Hitler, Maduro, they're not like, you know what? I'm going to do this for one day and then I'm chill. We're cool after. That's not the way dictators operate. And two, it's not funny. P political, when has our body politic become ah, so funny? We're doing dictator jokes now. So good. With all of the history of authoritarianism, we're going to do funny dictator jokes because that's hilarious. I mean, that's unacceptable behavior. So I wanted to put that out there. We still have a lot of stuff to talk about, though. We got to take our last break of the show. Reminder, subscribe right now to the Legal AFMTN channel. It's growing rapidly. I want to make sure everyone subscribes and it's free. Let's take our last quick break of the show. Medical tests can reveal your body's biological age, which can show if you're aging prematurely. Better nutrition has been shown to reverse one's bio age. My hope of living longer and healthier is why I take Field of Greens. Field of Greens is an organic superfood fruit and vegetable drink, unlike any other. It's serious nutrition. Listen to this. Field of Greens was approved for a university study that doctors believe may lower your body's biological age. That generally means better health. Each fruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was selected by doctors to support vital body functions like heart, liver, kidneys, metabolism, and immune system. Only Field of Greens is backed by this better health promise. At your next physical or checkup, your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Join me in better health with 15% off and free shipping. Visit fieldofgreens.com and use promo code LegalAF. That's promo code LegalAF at fieldofgreens.com. Traditional bed sheets, they can harbor more bacteria than a toilet seat. It can lead to acne, allergies, and stuffy noses, and it's just gross. Miracle Made offers a whole line of self-cleaning antibacterial bedding, such as sheets, pillowcases, and comforters that prevent up to 99.7% of bacteria growth and require up to three times less laundry. Using silver-infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made sheets are thermoregulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long, no matter the weather, so you get better sleep every night. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. Stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria can clog your pores, causing breakouts and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Go to TryMiracle.com slash LegalAF to try Miracle-Made Sheets today. 
And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo, Legal AF at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's back with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Legal AF and use the code Legal AF to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Legal AF to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. Flavored air isn't like vaping. If vapor was compared to sticky soda, fume cores are closer to herbal teas. Fume has lots of delicious flavors to choose from, like crisp mint, orange vanilla, and new peach blush. With flavored air, you can satisfy your oral fixation through a passive diffusion system that utilizes no electronics, vapor, or combustion. Fume draws flavor to your mouth and fills the void ditching a bad habit can leave. Fume is not a vape, and there's no nicotine, and it's not addictive. That's very important. Also, fume has non-toxic flavors. It truly is a guilt-free alternative to your bad habit. The look and feel of Fume is awesome, and the design is super high quality. Fume continuously invests in third-party studies to ensure the safety of their products and is backed by doctors in the U.S. Personally, my favorite flavor is the crisp mint. I love the taste, and I'm truly a huge fan of Fume. So many listeners of Legal AF have told me they've quit their bad habits with Fume, and I know it can do the same for you. Fume has served over 300,000 customers, and you can be the next success story. For a limited time, use my code Legal AF to get a free gift with your journey pack. Head to tryfume.com, that's T-R-Y-F-U-M.com, and use code LEGALAF or scan the QR code on screen to get a free gift with your order today. Now, look, I know we have a lot of sponsors. That's a good thing because that helps <laughs> grow the- 